What's going on all you gamers, here we are with some more Diablo 2 Resurrected and today I'm going to be going over how you can re-roll your Grand Charms. So if you're trying to get something that's a little bit better than what you've got already, then stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls, as always, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon? I bring you all the latest and greatest in content, hints, tips, guides and builds, and just some fun gameplay and reviews of upcoming games. But for today I'm here to show you how you can re-roll those Grand Charms in order to maybe get yourself something nice. Now if you're wondering, the reason you're probably going to be doing this will be to make sure you get those skill Grand Charms. They seem to be the highest sought after, and they can really make your build very, very powerful. Now, in general, what you're going to want to do is nice and easy. You're going to bop over to your stash and you're going to need perfect gems and lots of them, which unfortunately I don't have at the moment. But you're going to grab as many as you can. It's going to take three every single time you want to do this. Few moments later. Right, so as you can see, I've just grabbed a few from my stash and they can be any perfect gems whatsoever. Just as long as you've got three of them, it's going to make sure this recipe works. The other thing you're going to need is obviously a Grand Charm. So, for example, this one right here, the Rugged Grand Charm. Now, the Grand Charms, in general, you can use any, but you're probably not going to want to. Anything after Act 3 on Nightmare can give you those plus skill ones. So I said they're worth doing, but in all honesty, if it was me, I would wait until you've hit Hell, because the higher the item level of the Grand Charm means it can have better stats. For example, if you're getting a Grand Charm drop from Diablo or Bowl, I believe Nilifact may be able to drop it as well, but he's not anywhere near as highly farmed. Those ones, because of their item level, have the chance to roll slightly better stats, mainly that plus life, I believe it's over 40, meaning you could get plus one skill to your class or another class and plus over 40 life on it, which is really, really highly sought after. Now this one right here actually dropped from Bowl yesterday, that's why I set it aside for today. So hopefully with a little bit of luck, even though there's only two tries, we'll see what happens. Next up, you're gonna jump straight over to your Heredrix cube and open it up. Bop in said Grand Charm, and again, any three of these. I'm gonna mix it up just so you know. It doesn't matter what color they are, it really doesn't matter. Just make sure you've got three of them and you're gonna be able to have a little change up. So just over here, we've started off and the Rugged Grand Charm has got plus 48 maximum stamina. I'm going to transmute it and with a little bit of luck, we have managed to get and not what we're after in the slightest, an Iron Grand Charm, plus 79 to attack rating. So again, we're gonna use the last ones we've got, and we're gonna try again. One thing to remember, I would probably wait until you're in Hell difficulty, just because this can take an awful lot of rolls. It may take three, it may take 33, it may take 133. It's down to luck. Everything in the game is RNG, meaning that you're probably going to wait until you've got a lot of resources before you even try this. So let's have a look. And no, definitely not what we're after. Plus 26 to maximum stamina. So we're just going to pop that back there. And whenever I get more, I'm going to try again. However, the thing you're going to be after is things such as this. So, so your you class skills. For example, this one right here is a natural grand charm, plus one to elemental skills for druid only. This really helps your damage, it really helps whatever you're going for in your build, and a lot of times what you're gonna do for end end game, or when you're completely maxed out your build and such, you're probably gonna have these filling up at least half, maybe even more of your inventory, just because they'll make your build that much stronger. So for example, if I go straight back to my stash, and pop these in here, If I go to my skill tree, if you have a little look just down here, my current skill damage for Hurricane is 1867 to 1982. So it almost hits 2k at max damage. And just over here for my tornadoes, again, 4000, 4230. If I take off these skillers, chuck that one over there, and I've got another one just here, just taking off those two because they affect everything in that category. So as you can see, all of them have lost one, meaning everything has lost a bit of damage. 
and because of how the game works that means I lose an absolute ton of damage. So now that's got 1720 to 1835 and my tornadoes do up to 3859. Now you may not think that sounds too much but if you imagine that's only taking off two of them. If I wanted to and in my inventory right here I could pretty much fill that up with 10 if I wanted to at a push. I probably wouldn't to be perfectly honest because you're still going to want a Tome of Tan Portal and you probably want to be able to pick something up. You may well be able to get away with 6 or 7 though if you wanted to make your build very very strong. Again like I said here's another one and that's plus 1 to elemental skills and plus 12 to life. Obviously the life on it's rolled a little bit low so it's definitely not ideal but if you can get them in the 40s plus it's absolutely perfect and I'd say probably one of the most sought after things in the game. A little bit of extra health, a little bit of extra damage or a little bit of extra skills to your build is always worth it and even if you didn't want it, say for example it rolled for a Sulk or another class, you may well be able to keep it in your stash for one of your alternate characters or very possibly trade it. Well you guys and girls hopefully that's helped a little bit, save up those gems, definitely save those grand charms from those drops from Bow in Hell and Diablo and just put them aside until late late game if you want to try your luck. If you need to get yourself some gems, probably best to grab up all of the gems you find like the Flawless and such when you're running Hell Cows or anywhere, drop some really nicely and put them to one side and use the upgrade recipes in the Heredrix Cube. As always guys and girls, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox. Take care, I'll see you on the next day.